Hello everyone, before we begin, just letting you know that I did in fact get a new mic, and I'd appreciate you leaving a comment down below letting me know how it sounds while I get everything adjusted and get used to it. Thank you so much for listening, and enjoy the audio. <laughs> Welcome back, my dear. <sighs> Honestly, I'm a bit speechless at the moment. Just hearing your voice again is so much to take in. Oh yes, a very unfortunate predicament befell you nearly a year ago, but now we've gotten past that, and you're all the better for it. <sighs> Truly, that puts me at ease. It would have hurt to know that you recalled any pain in those final moments. You were taken by death itself. Yes, very much so. Whatever you experienced in all that time, it truly was death. That gives me some comfort for when it's my time to go. And for you as well. But that time isn't now, and you are no longer within its grasp. I have arranged to have you brought back, and here you are. Not many have the power or wealth to accomplish such a feat, but I have been graced with the position to do so. I've always known that the demise of those I care for could eventually come prematurely, so I've taken it upon myself to ensure that I have a means of circumventing that. I've been very fortunate enough to have found the most gifted of mages who specialize in the art of resurrection, and I've had their power verified in the past to make sure that we were ready for situations like this one. And the responsibility of breathing life back into you was given to only our most gifted. And what a fine job he did. Look at you. Not a day older since we last spoke. <sighs> Hopefully the past year hasn't been as noticeable on me. I feel as though I've aged considerably waiting for you. <laughs> Feel free to agree with that. There is no punishment for it. I welcome an honest opinion. My authority holds no weight in the discussion. I simply ask as a friend would. I admire the desire to maintain decorum, but know that when I ask, it is never to goad you into stepping out of line. And really... With where you stand, I wouldn't even consider it in the first place. I care too much to do that kind of harm to you. Much more than anyone else, I would say. Especially with how much has gone into bringing you back. There is no point in making ill of what is supposed to be a wonderful gift. My dear, no one could have cared as much for your well-being as I did for you during all that time spent trying to keep you from wasting away. The castle infirmary was best suited for your constant care. I spared no expense in the effort of keeping you as you were before your demise. Your family has been most concerned for you, but they lacked the means of ensuring your safety over such a long period of time. But they were kind enough to provide us with bedding material for your own room back home to come for you during your rest. Rest assured, they have long since been informed of the miracle we have partaken in today, and you will be seeing them again in due time. <laughs> Lord Barclay is married to Lady Everett, 
since just last month, in fact. They took to each other quite well in such a short time, though Lady Everett did well to provide comfort during the grieving. It must have helped them reconnect from their academy days. I am afraid that death dissolves the vows of marriage. The vows state, until death do us part. Any commitments you had prior to now have long since been terminated by fulfilling that promise. Nothing keeps the two of you together any longer. All is null and void. Please, there is no need to be upset. This is a blessing for you. You are no longer bound by an obligation to someone of that standing. You have the freedom of choice again. There are greater opportunities awaiting you. You have one right here before you. The offer I gave you long ago still stands, and it always will. Take this chance to make the right choice this time. Marry me? Yes, I meant it. Believe me, there is no mistake. It is my greatest fear to see you alone and available to all. Only for you to run off into the arms of another man. I've lost my chance one too many times. I cannot have that happen again. I know it may be sudden for you, but I've waited a year. In fact, even longer than that. I've waited from the very moment you married Lord Barclay all of those years ago. It would have been fairly uncouth to make my distaste for your union known to all. It was best that I gave my blessing, else anyone could even fathom that I didn't want for your happiness. To wish happiness upon someone else even means loss is proof of one's love. I did all that I could before you decided to marry someone else. You could have all your needs met and desires taken care of. Your family will want for nothing for generations to come. You have a king on his knees for you. I've had my counsel, four indigentaries, many prospects, my family, my friends, all beg for me to marry, and yet I have refused every single time because it wasn't you. All of that has been my proof, even after you chose to marry another. It's been difficult to prove myself, even past that. You left me with very little to work with. But your death has given me the opportunity to provide the most important piece of proof. What is greater? than the gift of life itself. One such opportunity is not so simple to come by without the fear of failure at any step, but it is my greatest relief that there will be no pain in the event you end up passing in a similar manner and I am required to seek out these services again. Knowing the cause of death has the possibility to influence future outcomes. 
your lack of awareness may have contributed to a more peaceful passing. It is best to keep all factors the same to ensure a similar outcome. Under my protection, you have nothing to worry about. Within these walls, you are safe from any possibility of harm. But I cannot say the same for you if you were to leave. Your death is proof enough that you are not safe out there. Lord Barclay could do nothing to bring you back, and no one else has the means of doing so when those who wield such power are all within my service. What sort of life is that? To live in fear that your next day will be your last because the person you chose to spend your life with lacks the ability to remove any doubt that you will wake up safe and sound in your bed the next morning. Knowing what I can do should be enough to give you an idea of what kind of life you can expect with me. There should be no doubt in your mind of how much I love you with all that I have done for you. Why was there ever any doubt? This could have all been yours from the start. I've kept the ring since the first time I asked. And it's always been yours. And I have something else to give. To all that are present before us, to make sure there is proof of my intentions for anyone who would consider questioning them again. <laughs> Stay where you are. Let them see. <laughs> no self-respecting person of decent blood would dare ask for my hand after that. They don't need to have seen it with their own eyes. Those present will speak on my behalf. No rumors are needed. My most loyal staff have more than enough credibility to verify any claims made amongst the public. I trust them enough to give you life. I can trust them to say what they need to. If no one believes them, then I will have to verify it myself. But we can always do so together. With enough people present, no one will ever question it again. It would work well as an announcement of our engagement. But first, you must accept. No one stands between us like before. And it should be very simple. Make the right choice this time. Give yourself some time to think it through, but in the end, it will come down to whether you decide to walk out of that door or not. Just know that your choices are either waking up tomorrow in our shared room, or waking up in the infirmary. <laughs> Hello everyone, it's Prince Cairo. Thank you all so, so much for listening to yet another audio. Be sure to leave a comment if you haven't. Special thank you goes out to all my patrons, especially that of my precious pets. Creek, Lunar, Vinoan, Toka, T. Briscoe, Michelle, Nikki Pele, and An Adventurer. Thank you all so, so much for all that you do for me. It truly does mean the world to me. Be a patron or not. If you're interested in not safe for work extras or even getting audios early, be sure to check out my Patreon. It'll be in the link tree in the pinned comment down below. Thank you so, so much once again. I've been Prince Cairo, and remember that your prince loves you all. Mwah.